Let's take you to Cape Town now. Housing lacks continue to be a concern in many parts of the country. Uh, the mother city mayor, uh, Gordon Lee, uh, Hill Lewis, rather, is expected to announce land release in the CBD for social housing projects today. The city has identified several pockets of land it intends to use for the project. Let's go to ENCA's Aisha Ishmael, who is following that story for us. And she joins us now just to tell us more. Uh, so, Aisha, I hear that the mayor has already made uh, uh, an announcement and he made two Two significant ones. Tell us about those. Very interesting announcements made by the mayor of Cape Town, Jordan Hill Lewis, earlier today in a council sitting. And there he announced the fact that thousands of people living on the Cape Flats who had been renting houses for many, many years. Some people have actually lived and rented houses for more than 50 years, paying rent every single month, month and not being able to take ownership of their houses. And the city of Cape Town has now made it possible for these people to not only take ownership of their houses, but also to do so without paying the transfer and registration costs. Now, we all know, for those of us who, who have been able to afford to buy our own homes, that is one aspect of being a homeowner. But then, of course, we need to go and register our homes and take um, transfer of our properties. And that also entails tens of thousands of rands. And you can just imagine this added cost to people living on the Cape Flat who can hardly afford to pay their rent. So the city of Cape Town has now made this possible for about 7,500 people who have been religiously paying their rents to now be able to take ownership of their homes and the city of Cape Town will, bear, will carry the costs of the transfer and registration. But one of the people who will be um, a beneficiary of being able to own your home. Now, Mrs. Jafter, you told me you've been living in this house for more than 50 years. Yes. How do you feel about finally becoming a homeowner? Yeah. I can just say, um, shukran to my marker. Um, I'm grateful for what the council did for me. And I can, I can cry about it because that's what I all along, I wanted a house of my own. And I can just say thank you, that's all. And how does it make you feel um, to think that finally, after so many years of living here and paying rent, that you will now be able to have a house that you can call your own? It's a joy, it's happiness. I can say it's a joy, it's happiness. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother of 14 grandchildren. I'm so happy that I can say it's my own house now. I'm going to say thank you. Thank you so much for your time, ma'am. And Maseko, you can see how happy Mrs. Jafti is that she's even so overwhelmed about finally, um, you know, the, the, the day when she will be able to call this house that she's been living in, as she says, since she was eight years old. She mm. was living here. Her parents paid rent religiously until they passed on. She then took over the house and continued to pay that rent. But let's listen to what Jordan Hill Lewis had to say in the council meeting this morning. Our, our no-cost transfer program will allow long-standing tenants of community residential units, or CRUs as they're, named, uh, as they're called, to buy their units with the transfer costs covered by the City of Cape Town in full. In other words, these tenants will become property owners at no cost at all. This is an important policy shift that will have far-reaching impact for generations to come. The current program focuses on at least 7,500 units that are ready for their tenants to own because they are single residential units or masonettes. Sectional title schemes will be next as we extend this program across the city. But we do need councillors' help to explain both the responsibilities and administrative burdens that come along with having sectional title ownership.